Hello, welcome to another Run9 demo. We're following on from the previous one, which we did about wrist locks, and this is all to do with the release in May 2022. So this is, we're going th gradually through some of the updates. And what we wanted to go through this time was casting IK, and what IK casting is, and why we've put it into the systems. So to do that, we're gonna go back to this file here. So at the front of this, we have a sequence where we have an IK system and an FK system. Here's my IK system, Here's the FK system. I've unhidden the bones so we can see what's going on. Now, traditionally, what happens when we do an IK FK match is it will take, if we're doing, a, sorry, we're matching the IK to the FK, traditionally we'll take that and we'll match it to that position there. So we'll basically do that and we'll do the same with the poles. So the pole comes up to this joint up here. Okay, something like that. Okay, that's basically what an IK FK switch does. And going in reverse, you do the exact opposite. You match these joints to these joints. The issue is, is that, well, there's a number of issues. One is if you're halfway through a blend like we are here, at this point, we're 50% through the blend. So we're neither in IK nor FK. We are in limbo. We're in the middle of it. And we've done a soft blend between the two of them. So that, that traditionally isn't catered for with IK FK switching. The other issue, <coughs> excuse me. The other issue is that well, it's more of a fundamental one. If you've got a sequence where you're switching IK to FK to IK to FK, you know, maybe it's doing a run to a jump to a leap to a roll to a, you know, whatever it happens to be, and you're constantly switching those systems. If you then want to say everything else, I want just FK, or I want to cast the entire thing to IK, it's actually quite difficult to do. So let's have a look at this. We'll do this one here. Uh, we'll take this right arm, left arm, sorry. And for the start of it, we'll go from there to there. We'll go into uh, IK, sorry, into FK. Think, and we'll leave it in IK over here. And maybe we'll switch it from FK there. I'm just randomly doing this, just so you get the idea. And we'll switch to FK there. Okay, so if we look at what's happening, in fact, let's do, let's set the tracker going so we can see this a little bit more detail. Okay, so there's the FK. And at that point, it disappears to IK and comes back to FK and goes back to IK to go back to FK. Now, like I say, in order to switch that, previously what we'd have to do is we'd have to match the parts where we've switched to FK and then we'd have to switch that to IK so that it matches the rest of the systems, which is a bit of a pain because you've got lots of switches going on here. So let's just have a look at those switches. If we take a piece, where are we? Where's his arm control? There it is. Let's just have a look at the keys on this. Uh, animation graph editor. Okay, so there's the switches. IK FK switch. So that's where we've gone. We've gone IK FK IK FK IK FK. So you'd have to switch between this point and this point. You have to switch back to IK. This point, except it gets quite difficult. So again, this is the purpose of casting. Casting doesn't care. What casting does is it takes the end solve. It takes the final solution point. So again, coming back to this one. Let's go back to. In fact, let's just delete the uh, tracker cam. Uh, camera, uh, where are we? Delete preview cam. So we'll go back to this one. So it takes this end solve point, and basically what it does is it caches this end solve, and then it says, right, well, I need that whole system into IK or into FK. So if I do it this pose, what we'll end up with is the IK controller up here. So let's do that on this one, just as a static, just so we can see. Uh, add switch key, yes, and we'll do a cast. In fact, let's not. Let's do IK to FK on this frame. So we're at frame five. And we're going to do, uh, yes, let's match to IK. OK, and you see IK goes up to where the FK controller is. It doesn't come where it used to be. It doesn't come where that final solve is. So let's do it the other way around. Let's do casting. Cast. There we go. And now you see the arm is where it used to be, where the actual solve physically is. And it's been told how to do it. And if we want to do it over time, as I say, we can just do that lot and we can say for the entire duration of that, regardless of what state these systems are in, bear in mind, this left arm is going IK to FK to IK to FK. I can just go that lot over time, cast me to IK. I, I did a single one there. Cast me to IK. Takes a little longer because it's got to cache the data first. There we go. So that hand now should be fully IK through the entire duration of that sequence. Just get rid of that thing during the duration of that sequence. And like I say, that's matching the end solver of the solvers. It's not matching the IK or the FK system. They're two separate systems. 
Um, hopefully that's quite a big update. It's one of these things that we got asked for a number of times by clients who were struggling getting an end resolve and saying we want everything into IK, how do we do it? Um, and that's kind of what we've come up with. So it's under the casting, it's down here, match IKFK. If this button is uh, yellow, then you know you've got the systems in the rig. If it's not, then you know you haven't. Um, and basically there is a patch in the rigs because we need extra data in there. Okay, hope that's helped. Hope it makes sense. Again, go, don't forget to like the channel, follow us on YouTube, um, go and have a look at the website and by all means go and grab a demo of uh, Red Nine and just go play with it. Thank you very much for watching again. Goodbye.